had no idea that really you know, keep COVID and stuff and I was going to mess it out again last month. Um, yeah. But obviously, like, you get out of the same too. And I started you, playing that. Did you get the ledge stage? Uh, yeah, I, I just played on Sunday. We had the game Sunday Sunday evening and the last turn out the um, Sky Blue. So obviously, getting on the plane in uh, seven, nine hours on the plane after a uh, loss wasn't a lot of feeling so good. But glad I'm here, got a victory, you know, so you can kind of get a bit of loss and then go back there and start again. I think it was your game in Chicago or something? I was in Chicago. Um, so that was obviously handy, it's not too far. If it's been over in you know, California, that would be a trek. When did you go back? Um, tomorrow morning. Um, so I got here, I got to the hotel yesterday at 6 o'clock in the evening. Um, just had team meeting dinner, um, but uh, training this morning. Um, I didn't do too much because um, I hope I, I'll spend a ligament and a tendon in my ankle on Friday, so it's like pretty strapped up. and got to get some treatment when I get back, so hopefully I can play that. Yeah, so two games in, uh, two, days, two games in a few days is a... Uh, Where are you games? Do you play again on Sunday? Saturday. Um, we're home again, we're home again. Um, we play, we play, we play uh, FC Gold Pride. They're from the, the, the West Coast in California. So we play them on um, Saturday. Uh, so it's a bit... But it, was it good to come back and just touch base with everybody again? Yeah, it really was. I mean, I haven't been, I haven't seen the girls, and you know, so my family since I haven't seen my family since I think Christmas. And right. Obviously, it's good to get back in the you know, squad and the team and see the girls. I haven't seen them since Cyprus. Right. Uh, you know, couldn't get back to the early game. So it's, you know, like I said, after a defeat, it was kind of good for me to you know, change the scenery and get Did away from the Did you come from America, stop off, and then straight to Cyprus? Um, about coming home then? Well, after Cyprus, because my contract with Chicago started March right. 1st, oh, but right. I was already over, after I finished this season in Sweden in November, I just went to Cyprus and I was training over there and playing my team. Oh, so right. I just waited in Cyprus for them to come over in March and then oh, met up with them and then played, yeah. uh, went to Florida for pre-season in Chicago, like right after right Cyprus, so that um, was a bit of a tough trip. What sort of coach you play at in America? First few games, um, um, we had four and four and five thousand, yeah. Right. The first couple of games and the weather wasn't the best. It was like raining, so you don't really know like you know, how the fans, the American fans, are going to take to that, especially in the rain. And obviously, in the rain over here in Scotland, you know, people, you know, supporters are diehard. So we were not yeah, they were still turning up. So we actually turned up like in form. The first game was 5,800, and the second game was only 4,000. So between you know, four and five thousand. So is there one particular game at the moment that stands out in the 50 caps? Yeah, 50 caps. Um, We're in, in Russia or? <laughs> Russia's not memorable. <laughs> 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 no, 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 it's not memorable. Um, obviously, I definitely enjoy playing um, against the... Um, I mean, even though we lost like Denmark away from home, 2-1, um, I know Germany, we played away from home, we played for 15,000 buttons, and that was brilliant to play you know, against, even though we didn't get beat. But, you know, like the ovation the crowd gave us after that, you know, just because we tried and we worked hard, that was um, definitely memorable. Um, I've not played against Germany, those are probably like my toughest games, but the most competitive, but you know, you want to play competitive, challenging games in every game is, so obviously that, and, um, I can't even remember um, it so must be quite tough being away for your oh, yeah. it is, but I've been away since I was, away, since I was 18, you know, so yeah. it's like, kind of get used to it, you know, when I was 18, I just kind of went off and went to university, got a scholarship, played every day, trained every day, okay. yeah, so you get used to it as you grow up, you know, you, you do miss them, and you know, my family travel as well, my dad's actually in, in in Virginia, so I saw him last month when I went to DC and played against Washington. <laughs> and then I've got a brother in New York, so I'm going to see him shortly. Oh, so, right, so, right. Yeah, so I'll see my family tonight for about six hours and then I'm off again. But hopefully I'll catch him. Uh, hopefully I'll, I'll catch him in um, August when our season's over. So, you know, it's a six right. month season, so it should be um, six months on, six months off. But I'll find some stuff to fill in during that time. <laughs> then you who do you play with in the World Cup call? Um, I don't think it quite, uh, like, we're... October or something? It's October, I believe we play Greece and... Greece and... Uh, uh, Greece and... Is it Georgia? Uh, it might be Georgia, one of those. So you need for 2011 in Germany? Oh, definitely. I mean, obviously, uh, you know, the World Cup, I think, there's not many, I don't know how many bids Europe gets, but it's not a lot compared to, no. you know, like, North yeah. America, like... It's always, they get seem to get like two bids and it's like obviously the Americans go and the Canadians go but they're competing against like Mexico and like um, teams from Trinidad, you know, Trinidad to Bebo and the uh, islands and stuff. But it's hard to qualify for Europe, but we're gonna give it a fish up. And obviously we're familiar with Denmark having played them in the European yeah. qualifiers before, so hopefully you know, when that comes around they'll be good to go.
Pushing up. Take over there. Let's get up.